doesn't come cheap for First Lady Melania Trump. Federal spending records indicate that during Trump's trip to Cairo earlier this month, the U. S. State Department paid $95,050 to the Semiramis Intercontinental Cairo Hotel for the First Lady's visit, but according to her spokesperson, she didn't even stay the night. Get push notifications with news, articles, and more. Follow following Hooray! You'll get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notifications. The First Lady's Communications Director, Stephanie Grisham, told Quartz, which first reported the news, the Mrs. Trump was only in Cairo for six hours. Grisham confirmed to People that the First Lady did not stay at the hotel overnight. Grisham also questioned where the federal spending records got its information, adding that her team is looking into where the number came from. She did not directly dispute the figure, however. Rooms at the luxury hotel range from $119 to $699 per night, according to the Semiramis Intercontinental Cairo's website. The spending records were not itemized, offering no hints at what charges led to the bill. This isn't the first time a Trump outing has cost the taxpayers thousands of dollars. During Donald Trump's July stay at his own golf resort in Scotland, which included him hitting the links for two rounds of golf, taxpayers were left footing a $68,800 bill, according the Scotsman. Trump, his son Eric, and White House staff spent two nights at the Trump Turnberry, paid for with State Department money, the Scottish newspaper reported. The Trump Organization did not dispute the Scotsman's report that the U.S. government paid $68,800 to Turnberry to cover the cost of Trump's visit. However, a statement emailed to people and attributed to George A. Sario, the Trump Organization's executive vice president and chief compliance counsel, said that the company didn't profit from the stay. For United States government patronage, our hotels charge room rates only at cost, and we do not profit from these stays, Sario said in a statement. During her trip to Africa, which included the stop in Cairo, the First Lady spoke out against all of the criticisms that have been directed at her, calling herself the most bullied person in the world. In a sit-down with ABC News, the First Lady told Chief National Affairs correspondent Tom Lamas that her Be Best policy platform targeting online bullies is personal. I could say that I'm the most bullied person in the world, she said in the sit-down, taped during her recent tour of Africa. One of them, if you really see what people are saying about me. That's why Be Best is focusing on online behavior and social media, Mrs. Trump continued. We need to educate the children about social-emotional behavior. During the trip, the First Lady was also criticized for wearing a pith helmet, a hat most commonly associated with colonialists. I wish people would focus on what I do, not what I wear, she told reporters during a stop in Giza, Egypt, 